now it's the turn of the back axle uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, uh, I'm just going to strip it down and check it out first of all uh, I'll take the uh, brake drums off and the back plates and uh, then I'll um, take the half shafts out and uh, have a good look at the bearings change them if necessary I'll take the uh, the diff out and uh, have a look at that make sure that that's all okay and hopefully if it's good I'll just give it a coat of paint and put it back together uh, if it isn't we'll have to decide what to do then I'll start off first of all by uh, pulling the brake rubs off well the hubs came off nice and easy uh, now I'm going to remove the uh, brake shoes and the brake cylinders which uh, I shall be replacing when I put them back together uh, but hopefully I'll be able to clean and reuse the brake adjusters. So now I'm going to try and uh, take the hubs off. Uh, I'm going to use a two leg puller to try and pull them off. Uh, hopefully that will work. I've managed to undo the the nuts. I have to remember that um, the nuts go in the opposite direction to which the wheels rotate to slacken them off. Um, so one of them is a right hand thread and one is a left hand thread. But they came off relatively easily. Well the hubs came off uh, nice and easy with the two leg puller. Um, so what I've got to do now, I'm going to change the bearings as a matter of course. So I'll have the bearings out, give them a clean, fit the new bearings back in with all the seals. Um, also got the back plates off. They'll get a, a really good clean and a coat of paint. And I've also cleaned the, uh, the back axle casing. Uh, given that a, a really good wire brush and uh, cleaned all the rust off uh, so that's going to get a coat of paint so now tensions are turned to the diff itself which again has uh, been cleaned in the power pin bath at first sight um, everything looks to be in reasonably good condition the uh, main uh, crown wheel that's uh, I've checked all the teeth on that and uh, the, they don't look like they're worn too badly um, there's no uh, markings or chipped teeth and uh, the same with the worm gear down in the bottom the only thing that uh, might be a problem is there is a, a lot of play in the planet wheels so what I intend to do is I'm going to take caps off and lift that out and have a good look at it. Maybe it will mean that uh, I've got to replace the, uh, the shims that those planet wheels sit on. So I'll take that to pieces now and uh, have a look to see what needs to be done. That's everything stripped down. Um, the actual carrier is in good condition there's no wear on any of the seats bearing seats where the uh, planet wheels and the sun wheels uh, sit on them the uh, planet wheels are in good condition as are their bearings the, the problem seems to be in these two Obviously they're, they're very worn, um, elongated. There's a little bit of wear on the pin. One slight worrying feature is this pin that retains it all is uh, bent and marked. But I should be changing that. I'll change these, put it all back together again. Hopefully, that'll be okay. I 
I've uh, changed the uh, panic wheels and the sun wheels um, shims uh, in the diff and I also changed the, uh, the, the diff pin and now it's uh, come from being quite sloppy in there to having virtually no play at all and it all works and is rather well. Um, the uh, outer bearings, not changing those, they both feel nice and smooth and I don't really want to have to go and uh, reshim the diff so I'm keeping those in. The actual um, gear wheel itself, it's got no chips on it, it's in very good condition. I have changed the bearings on the pinion uh, because the races, both the inner and the outer ones, were really really dull and that's the sign of the uh, uh, pin, pinion preload being too high. What I think's probably happened is in the past somebody has uh, had an oil seal leak at the front of the, of the uh, pinion and they've uh, taken it out and torqued it back up to 140 and obviously put far too much preload on the pinion. So I've changed the bearings, I've changed them straight for uh, Timkin bearings which were already in so they're a direct match for what came out and uh, I'm just about to put that back into the diff casing and uh, set the preload. So I've got the new um, outer races set in the pinion and we're all ready to go. Right, so I set the uh, pinion preload to 11 uh, pound inches and I checked the backlash and that worked out at uh, 7 thou. Um, according to what was written on the back of the uh, crown wheel, it should have been 9. But uh, for the sake of 2 thou, I am not going to uh, pull the bearings off and uh, reshim the diff. So hopefully it'll be okay. And uh, I've now put it back into the uh, rear axle housing. Um, and uh, I will now fit the hub bearings and then the half shafts. I've repacked the hook bearings with grease. Um, I didn't bother to change them in the end because when I cleaned the bearings out uh, they were fine and uh, they were good quality uh, UK bearings so I decided that uh, I would repack them and put them back in. Uh, there's no uh, torque figure for the uh, hub nut so what I did is I torqued it as uh, uh, really good and tight. I got a a big bar on it. Um, it's got a lock washer on but uh, as uh, an added sort of uh, safety I, uh, I lock tighted the threads as well. You can see I fitted uh, new brake cylinders um, and uh, cleaned out uh, the uh, brake adjusters and uh, now I will uh, fit the brakes and uh, the rear hubs, uh, sorry the rear half shafts. Well that's the uh, brake shoes on and the uh, half shaft uh, back into position. Uh, I sealed the half shaft um, gasket with uh, Hylomar um, and obviously there's the o-ring seal in there as well so hopefully that won't leak. Uh, the brake shoes they were a little bit of a problem getting on particularly this spring here which has to go behind the handbrake linkage uh, it's a, an anti-rattle device but uh, as an aid to the brake shoes I found a really good diagram on Spidget Guru which shows you exactly where uh, the shoes and the springs where everything goes on both sides of the axle so that was uh, really helpful made putting them back on quite easy uh, what I've got to do now is to uh, put uh, the new drums on and then torque everything up and I shall be torquing the nuts up to 40 foot pounds.
So the uh, brake drums are now on, uh, they're torqued up. Uh, I actually looked up in a book and I talked them to 45, which is what it says, not 40 as I said earlier. And uh, I've uh, locked them all with the uh, tab washers. I've also fitted new copper brake pipes. And I've fitted the uh, handbrake linkage. So now the axle is, um, well, it's ready to go on the car. So what I shall do now is um, I'll uh, wrap it up in some cling film just to, to keep all the dirt off it and uh, put it away until we start to reassemble. 